Ken, thanks for staying up late with us. Therapy can help a lot of people, but sometimes children just don't know how to express themselves. And that's when art therapy can help kids deal with tra traumatic events. Here's Vinny Vincetta with tonight's Forever Family. The foster to adoption journey for any given child is in reality never easy. And many times there are past issues to deal with. Therapy can certainly help with that, but not every child can express in the same way. More paint until you reach the outer circle. Deal? It's one community when we come and make art. Some kids from what we might call normal backgrounds, others from foster to adoption journeys, but all together on this day. Getting that opportunity to create art as one, as one community, because that's what it boils down to. Everybody's the same. The weekend gathering, all part of the larger purpose, art therapy. A lot of times children don't have the voice to express their thoughts or feelings or even sometimes the trauma that they've experienced. And through the art, they're the art is able to capture those moments. Patience, because this is all a slow process. The art therapist who's trained can work with them in a way to draw out things that wouldn't be able to be drawn out through traditional talk therapy. It's helped me to over, over, um, I'm good over the memories I've had of my childhood. It helped me to learn, meet new people, know new people, make friends. It would benefit me in being more like respectful to my parents now. There you go. So it'll be different from all the other creations. And also being like more uh, kind to my brothers. Through the art, it eases them and it allows them to put into a visual form what they've gone through. And then we're able to talk through the art and through the art they're able to heal and find a common ground. Just in the sessions that I've come in on the end of, I've seen them talking about things like the colors that the kids used. And they are able to draw some meaning out of that, of the emotions that the kiddo might be experiencing just by the colors that they've used. Breathe in. Yeah. The art therapist is able to look at that to, and translate what might be going on in the kid's brain about what has happened to them. And thanks to a $7,500 grant from the amazing folks at Silver and Black Give Back, this session, one of nine that will bring students from St. Luke's Catholic School to work alongside kids who have worked their way through the foster system to forever adoptive homes. A lot of kids will come in and be extremely shy and will just kind of shelter themselves. Children who come from normal circumstances are able to help them reach their full potential and just help them be friendly. I think it's helping because there were some girls at the beginning who were very quiet. They wouldn't talk to anyone and we would ask them a question and they would give a one word answer. And now they've talked more and more and they're asking us questions and I think it's just better. So I had one daughter who wasn't talking at all the first week and about two weeks ago she started talking in the group setting in art therapy. So just that alone has been amazing for us to see throughout this journey. Yes, you're done! Yay! I believe in the magic of art because it does heal. Thanks to Yachty and her amazing staff, keeping kiddos happy and healthy. Love you guys. And by the way, as always, if you have a story idea for us, it's right there. Forever family at kins5.com.